I don't know why that is happening. Why does it do that? Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Happy Halloween! Hello guys, how have you been? I missed you. I'm a married woman now. I'm a wife. Hello. <laughs> In today's video, I'm doing something super, super exciting because it involves you. <laughs> Recently, I asked you guys on my Instagram stories to draw a Halloween makeup look on my bare face. And boy, you did. You guys went absolutely wild. And first of all, I'm clapping. I'm applauding you because you guys are so creative. I loved thousands of drawings, makeup looks you sent in. I loved them. You guys really went hard on these Halloween looks. So the Halloween makeup look that I'm recreating from one of you guys right here on my YouTube channel today is by <clears throat> Hanjo. Hanjo. Ango. And Hanjo, I'm just gonna call you Hanjo. Hey Joe, Hanjo. <laughs> and Hanjo sent in this incredible Deadly Ruella DeVille makeup look right here. I was like, I need that to be on my face right now. I love Cruella DeVille. She's flawless, except don't touch the puppies. Don't, don't. Other than that, she's flawless. <laughs> and I feel like this look right here is like a modern Nikki Tutorials take on, like this is how I would do Cruella. And the fact that Hanjo came up with this, I was like, Dylan, Hanjo's here. <laughs> Let's sit down, grab a snack, grab some candy cone. <laughs> Sorry. It's dead. Let's let it go. Okay. If you're excited for a Halloween makeup look, sit back down, relax, and let's get started. <laughs> All right. The first thing you want to do, of course, is prime. But before you do that, I already blocked out my, uh, said I blocked out my eyes. I was like, <laughs> I already blocked out my brows before starting. Uh, what is English? I already blocked out my brows before I started this entire journey today. Can we tell that my brows have been growing? I've been using a serum. It's been working. I've been feeling my hairy fantasy. Anyway, I'm taking my Nimia Red All Star Cream. This is my brand. If you're new here, I created this, and this is a primer and a moisturizer hybrid because I was sick and tired of always having to go in with like three products to have the perfect prime. So I combined it all in one product, and uh, it's available. I need .com. Oh, bad one. Better. <laughs> and we're just gonna, you know, get this everywhere. Nice and primed. For Halloween. What I really liked about Hanja's Cruella look, it feels very modern. I see very highlighted white contoured skin, but it's still sort of like modern. So I'm gonna do my own skin tone because I'm that white, no I'm kidding. So I'm gonna do my skin tone just a little bit lighter, but not like white white, because I feel like that is too theatrical almost. <laughs> As if we're going grocery shopping in this look. <laughs> first things first, I'm a willow. First I'm gonna take this, uh, m do I have a lisp out of nowhere? <laughs> First, I'm gonna take this Milk Makeup Flex Foundation Stick in Porcelain, and we're gonna um, apply this. <laughs> this is quite a bit lighter than my skin tone, which is rare, because I am the color. And we're just gonna apply this pretty roughly everywhere. The brows too, goodbye, see ya. And we're done. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of a, another foundation stick to kind of mix in between and then <laughs> i'm not done now i have this little mix of liquid foundation and we're just going to work this on top to get the most full coverage like colored base to get perfect flawless cruella skin oh i love this look at that look at that oh my god how have you guys been i haven't seen you since my wedding video which if you haven't seen it yet your girl is now a married woman she's very happy i also keep dying at the fact that after posting <laughs> my wedding video. I saw so many comments saying, oh my God, her last name is not Tutorials anymore. And guys, Tutorials was never my last name. I get it. I get why people think that might be my last name, but no, it's it's my artist name. It's my stage name. Nikki Tutorials is a name I came up with when I started my channel when I was 14 years old, which is 14 years ago. Oh my God, I'm getting old. My actual name is Nikki the Jager, and the Jager means hunter in Dutch. Officially, my name is now Nikki de Jager Dolsars, but you can call me Nikki Tutorials. And we love calling ourselves the Tutorials. Dylan calls himself Mr. Tutorials. Like, maybe we should change our name to Tutorials. I mean, why not? This could be a Halloween look, just, just this. You could be it, the clown getting ready for his big day. Casper, the unfinished ghost. <laughs> I mean, even though it's way too light, but look at the 
the sort of glow on the skin it still has. Like, it's very... Mm, I love it. Now we're gonna apply some concealer. This is the H&B Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer. This is my favorite concealer. I love how I said I didn't want to go theatrical with this look, and here I am. And then we're gonna work that in with the sponge. So if you haven't seen our wedding video, it's up on my channel right now. Go ahead and watch it. Grab the tissues. It's very emotional. I'm so proud of the fact that we could translate our magical day in a video the exact same way as how we sort of experienced it. Like what you see in that video is truly what our day was like. Like it feels like you were a part of it. By the way, this sponge. <sighs> This is uh, the Marshmallow Sponge by Coco, and it is, let's say it, my new favorite sponge. You know I have been using my Juno & Co Velvet Sponge for at least, what, six years? And every time I got a new sponge in the mail, I never really tried it because I knew nothing would be better than my Velvet Sponge. But you guys, I have found something that is better than the Velvet Sponge. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. They're always sold out though. So good luck getting it. I think I'm gonna do most of the contouring with powders in the end, but I do wanna give it a little bit of structure already. I'm taking this Westman Atelier Face Trace Contour Stick in Biscuit. This is my favorite contour, cream contour product. And we're really gonna give ourselves those evil cheekbones and like hollowed out look like Cruella. Cruella, Cruella. We're gonna do like a little S move here. It's not really an S, but like sort of. Nice and structured and with that same sponge just a clean side of it we're going to start bouncing that in blending it out and like i said we are going to intensify all the shadows with like dark eyeshadows later on but just to sort of lay down some structure for later see how it's like doing that mm. i love it mm. like we need to cut this real estate in half like why would i do a tight ponytail when my forehead is that amazing <laughs> Okay, same sponge, and we're just gonna blend this in. Just see how smooth and flawless that blends in. I love that stick. There's a lot of like new favorite products I have that have just really altered and changed my routine. So maybe if you're in the mood for it, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if I should do like an updated favorite routine with all the new holy grails. Because I've found some products, you guys. Ooh, honey. Right, let's give this jawline some love, shall we? Oh my God, it needs it. I've been eating too much of these. These will be my downfall, I swear to God. Hot tamales, ugh. I tried them once when I was in America and I just can't live without them. This is my last pack, so I'm really on the verge here. Because when I start a pack, I finish a pack. I eat the whole damn thing. And people do not understand that. My friends are like, you're a psycho. How can you like that? And I'm like, oh, oh honey, she's a consultant. Okay, I'm gonna powder the base real quick and then we can start with brows, honey. Okay, now that we're looking nice and pale, it's time for the brows. And Hanjo painted one black brow and one white brow, which I love just to match with the hair. So we're gonna make this side black and this side white. And I'm gonna be using a water activated paint and I'm activating it not with water, but with my Set It and Forget It setting spray by Nimia. Because it's a setting spray, it will make it last longer. Plus it's just, has more hold. I'm actually frightened about this step. Okay, here goes nothing. Trust the process, trust the process. Daddy don't know mommy's getting brown at the studio and it's looking unholy. <laughs> oh, the 90s called. They want their brows back. <laughs> okay, now that's an evil brow, honey. I'm not gonna do the white one off camera and I even drew in like a couple of like realistic hairs because this is so realistic. All right, be right back. <laughs> Now that the brows are on, it is time to go in with these crazy green Cruella eyes. So I'm gonna take this uh, ABH Norvina palette, Pro Pigment Palette Volume 6. It's got a luscious, beautiful green. I hate green. Why are we doing this? And since we're essentially creating a whole new eye shape because we really pulled those brows up and evil, we don't necessarily want to follow our own bone structure. We're creating new features. So we're going to apply a crease literally on our brow. I'm just stamping that color on to kind of create the shape that we want for Cruella. I don't know why that is happening. Why does it do that? Later, we'll fix it in the end. We're also gonna blend those edges. At least if I was a villain, you know, I wanted to be a blended villain. That is a problem. 
problem. I mean, I'll try and fix it, but that's the problem. Why does it... Uh, Taking a darker green from the Michaela and Glam Light Pot to 10 color palette. I love this one. It's green, but I love this one. This is what she looks like. I'm taking this darker green right here. What are your plans for Halloween this year? I mean, I feel like the world is finally opened back up. So we get to, you know, plan parties, adventures. So I really want to know what you guys are doing this Halloween. Comment it down below. Are you partying it up? Are you watching horror movies? Speaking of horror movies, there's so many new ones that have come out or are coming out tonight i'm gonna watch smile and you know what lately there hasn't been a like a strong good horror movie at all so for me you know i'm really missing out on like the old school perfect horror movies that just get to you you know one of the movies that really got to me was sinister i loved sinister like the first one was so good and ever since that it's not not been great for us so i'm hoping that smile is it so we're just building a lot of depth here around that front of the brow and the nose bridge because that always looks very awesome in a in an evil look okay we're also going to start applying that darker green to the outer portion of the eye here and we're working with our new shape so we want to pull this bad beach up from this Michaela and Glam Light palette, I'm taking this green right here as a shimmer on the lid. Now I'm gonna apply liner and lashes and kind of like open up that inner corner with like a little bit of white liner. You know how the drag queens do it. And then we can start going ham on that face, honey. All right, the eyes are done. And I know that Hanjo painted on this like graphic gold liner, but I feel like the gold rhinestones kind of substitute that and make it a little bit more me. So now we're gonna really contour and sculpt the face. In an evil way. So first let's work on these cheekbones. So I'm taking Max Omega eyeshadow. This is my favorite contour shade. And we're really gonna start sculpting the cheek using that. So we're gonna start off high up on the cheekbone and then do that sort of shape that we did with the cream contour as well. It's almost a shaping of like a skull. See how it's like, whoosh. oh, I'll live for this. For once I'm skinny. <laughs> we worked very hard on concealing those under eyes. But now we are adding dark circles. Okay, now we're gonna work on that nice little brown she's got going on. Kind of creating like swirly bits between your brows. <laughs> We're also gonna put some here to make ourselves look a little aged. Oh no, I hate it. Using that same color, we're gonna contour the nose and we're gonna create like a very tipped up little evil nuads, nuads. I'm gonna go straight from that green that we blended all the way towards the bridge of the nose and we're gonna go down. Oh no, the memes that are gonna come from this. And then we're really gonna like create a, a rounded tip. And this is gonna go here. Isn't it crazy what nose contouring can do or just contouring in general to the face? It's magic. Then now for blush, this is actually my favorite blush. This is by Surratt, it's Cantaloupe. And this is going right here on our new cheekbone that we just created high up to really elevate those cheeks, mama. Now with a white face paint, we're really gonna highlight some of these features and bring them to the front. By highlighting underneath that eye bag, it makes it even more realistic. Oh my God. And then of course my girl loves her highlights. So I'm taking my favorite one. This is Makeup by Mario, Soft Glow Highlighter in Opal. You know, she may make very questionable choices in life, but she is glowing. Mm -hmm. All right, so I just wrote, Oh no, <laughs> I wrote down DeVille, like Hanjo came up with, but it's mirrored. Um, dear editor Roy, flip me around, why don't you? And they say I'm a professional makeup artist. Clearly I'm not, cause I mean, I can't even write something on my face without realizing it should be mirrored. <sighs> Okay, now we're gonna do some black lips and then we're gonna have some fun with the blood. I love how our lips are usually red, but Hanjo decided to make the lips black and then bring in the red of the blood. I think that's genius. All right, so here we have the look without the blood. You could also go for red lips if you wanna keep it a little bit more classic. Now I'm gonna take some red water activated liner and this little sponge right here and this will give you like blood splatters all over. She's a bloody girl. I have like a couple of like blood options this is like blood blood just like look oh 
Oh, girl. Your blood blood. Look, and this is like a blood paste. Let me pop in some contacts, put on a wig, and show you the final result. And there we have it, guys, this Halloween look inspired by Cruella de Vil, created by Hanjo. Round of applause for Hanjo, everyone. Woo! I think this is such a fun sort of like modern twist on her and she looks evil. I opted for the white contacts because I feel like that's creepier and I'm always in for something creepy. So happy Halloween. It feels great to be doing creative makeup looks again. I had so much fun with this one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I love you so much. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll be back soon with more. Bye bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. I look so creepy. I'm scared, Dylan. Bye. <laughs>